Good morning everyone, my name is Chris and today we will go back to 2016 and review what used to be the phone of the year. I am talking about the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge which is a premium device, even up to date the phone is 5 years old but the design which is still into the production of Samsung devices with curved edges around the corners of both ends and the camera with 12 megapixel quality shoots incredible video and pictures with high resolution and good quality. We will see how it compares to the latest Samsung device S21 and to other competition on the market. So let's go ahead and try it into it. So, as you can see from the clear images, the camera is still up to date. It's keeping up with competition and it shoots very vibrant pictures, both front facing camera and back end camera. smartphone is running on Android 8, which is the Android so-called Oreo, and you can see some clear animations which are specific to the Android system. The Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge has a breathtaking design. As mentioned earlier, it has a curved glass panel on both edges, which seamlessly blend into the solid frame of the phone, and the glass on front and the back panel are made from Gorilla Glass 5. They are resistant to most scratches and mild bumps. The phone is small enough to fit in the hand which makes navigation around it easier. It has a fingerprint sensor and a home button, a feature that we rarely see in newer devices in 2021. On the edge panel of the phone we have a special menu. It provides for some Samsung premium features and special software which has its own API. I personally love the smart select option that allows you to make a selection in various shapes and later save it, share it or edit the screenshot that you've taken. You can resize it properly as much as you need to fit the screen and when you hit done it actually creates a screenshot of what you've taken on the device. The smartphone has a ton of cool features which Samsung actually decided to get rid of in newer models. One of my favorites are physical sensor keys for back and recent options located at the bottom of the device. I also enjoy having a headphone jack located at the bottom right next to the speakers. Apart from these sensors, the phone is equipped with barometer which shows elevation and another cool options in the menu which you can personally design.
Even though the phone, the smartphone, is 5 years old, it's still smart. It's still part of the whole Samsung ecosystem, which is rich in premium applications. As you saw, the gallery is simply amazing. One of my other favorite applications, which gets constant updates, is the Samsung Health. Samsung Health lets you track your calories intake and how much calories you burn during exercises. It has an automatic detection of steps, which is a super cool feature, which I personally love. You can even play around with it in online competitions, where you compare your steps with friends and other Samsung users. <laughs> Thank you. 